Okay, so today we're going to make some, on a cold day like this, where it's kind of gray and yucky outside, we're going to go ahead and make some uh, Polish cabbage soup. So the way that we do this is I've got some pork loin here, all natural pork loin, and some kielbasa. And this is Polish kielbasa. And this is pork and beef. I don't use the turkey because uh, it just is not the same. The best to find is pork and beef. All these has a really good version of it. And um, this is what I like to use for my soup. So we're gonna get it started. So um, first thing we do is we get a kettle. Got our meat all prepared. I'm gonna turn the uh, burner on here and set it to about uh, oh, 07 or so. And uh, what I want to do here is I want to add a little olive oil. Olive oil simmering. Now I want to sweat a little bit of garlic. Just want to take the garlic and carefully drop it in the pot. And I want to take it. Let it around a little bit. Let it sweat out. Brown up a bit. So we got our garlic all browned. Now I'm going to take about a half of a small onion and throw that right in the pot. garlic, getting some of the juice out of it, letting it release into the, the stock. Next I'm going to take our plate of meat, got some fresh Polska kielbasa and some pork loin that we talked about earlier, and we're going to dump that right in there, which is pretty easy to please. Raise this a little bit and let it get a, a little bit of love on it. And the reason we do this is uh, since the stock cooks for a while, it tends to uh, make the meat fall apart. And if you braise it a little bit, Help the meat hold together a little bit better, which is what I want. Our meat is cooked down and caramelized just a bit, so now I'm going to go ahead and add some, just some uh, regular old water to the mix. And this is going to be the base for your stock. So I've got about a half gallon of water going into the pot. Maybe even a gallon. Yeah, it's probably more like a gallon. And this is going to serve about 15 to 20 people if you want, or, you know, a couple of bowls a piece for 10 people, or whatever you want to, however you want to dole it out. It could be an appetizer, it could be a main course, it's up to you. So we're going to let this boil up. So I've coarsely chopped some cabbage, fresh head. This is about three quarters of a head, but uh, you can go more or less depending how much cabbage you want to put in your soup. Um, I've also chopped about four average sized carrots and they're going to go in there. And I've diced up some yellow potatoes. Um, yellow or red works best. I don't recommend you use russets or, or baking potatoes because they tend to fall apart quicker. And I recommend also that you put the potatoes in last so they don't fall apart and you have a, a, a texture and a hardiness to your soup. I was low on veggies. I didn't have uh, as much cabbage as I'd like. 
I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, frozen green beans in here and um, you can use fresh or frozen this just happened to be what I have and um, I'm going to add those to the soup so um, we're going to go back to our stock pot soup wasn't porky enough <laughs> porky get it um, I have some boneless ham that I diced up and this is going to put a little bit of meat in every bite so um, you get a nice texture throughout it and this is going in later I don't want to put it in early with every all the other meats because it tends to uh, cook down to nothing so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the pot here's another key ingredient that goes into the soup this is uh, a fresh dill um, you can get this at the supermarket um, good supermarkets have it but um, go ahead and add that this is previously frozen from an earlier batch but go ahead and put a good amount of dill because you really want the dill flavor to uh, seep into the, the dish and you want to have that dill all throughout the dish so go ahead and add that and don't be don't be afraid you can't use too much so far we've added our sausage and our pork and some fresh ham not fresh ham but cured ham uh, smoked ham and I prefer a ham steak but I just use this deli ham um, because it's pretty tasty um, all these carries it and I threw that in there just to add um, some more meat to the dish because I like meat but some people don't and you could make this a vegetarian dish as well it's up to you but the pork stock really is what gives it its flavor so it's up to you how you want to do your cabbage soup but this is the base for our our family's cabbage soup and um, this is a dish that my grandmother and my father used to make and I just love it. It was cooked down quite a bit and I've added some fresh dill to the pot and it smells so good even with just the dill but um, I've got a few more things to put in here um, we're gonna add the carrots right now because the carrots take a while to cook so we want to make sure that they're nice and tender but not overcooked so in go the carrots. Be careful not to splash too much. And I cut up about four average sized carrots, pretty good size. So in they go. We want to distribute them evenly, so we're going to stir the pot a little bit. Get that dill. That dill likes to cling to the spoon. So we got a nice pot of uh, pork, fresh pork. Used about four pieces of, of pork, uh, four chops with no bone. Uh, we used a whole package of pork and beef kielbasa, Polish kielbasa. And I used about six slices, six to seven slices of, of uh, boneless ham. Uh, I prefer a ham steak, but the boneless ham works, so in that goes. Another key ingredient in the mix, uh, white distilled vinegar. I like this best because it doesn't leave any uh, color or anything to the soup. It just um, adds the flavor, and this is key because uh, this is what gives the soup its kind of sourness, which is, which is what I like. So in goes about a half cup of white vinegar and you can season it to taste and see if you got enough vinegar a lot of vinegar or a little vinegar goes a long way so you want to be careful with it so go ahead and stir that around the carrots I went ahead and threw the green beans and the cabbage in there and I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook down. You want the veggies to be somewhat crunchy. At least I like them that way, but some people like them tender. So if you want them tender, you just let this stuff cook down a little bit longer. But um, again, wait to put the potatoes in last because the potatoes will cook down the fastest and they will cook down to nothing and you won't find any potato in your soup. So go ahead and add that ingredient last. So our veggies have cooked down for a while 
and I'm going to add in the final ingredient. I left a little bit of the water with the potatoes and when you peel potatoes you want to put them in water because then they uh, tend not to get brown. Brown potatoes just aren't very appetizing. So everything's been added to the mix and we're going to let this simmer down for a while and we're going to come back and add our final ingredient which will be a surprise most people don't expect but this is a hearty soup it's great on a cold day and I think you're going to love it Polish cabbage soup okay so here we go with the heavy cream just dump it right on in there don't be afraid and no it's not going to curl, curdle because of the vinegar now what I like to do is just dip the carton into the water and swish it around in there to get whatever's residing on the sides of the carton and then I just dump it right back in there and this is pretty much the finishing touch to the soup you can salt and pepper it to taste if you want to it really doesn't need much salt because of the pork and uh, it's just a delicious soup. You can serve it with rye bread. It's very good with rye bread. You can put hard boiled eggs in there too, which I'm gonna go ahead and make some hard boiled eggs. So um, we can add them to the dish after we serve it, which I will be back for the serving. So we're gonna let that cream steep in there and let the veggie soak, soak up some of it and just get this all nice and rich and that pretty much is the recipe for Polish cabbage soup um, I used green beans in this one it's typically you don't but I can't see where it would hurt anything to put fresh green beans in it my grandmother used to put green beans in a lot of different soups that she made when she had them available so use what you got and enjoy most of all this is the final presentation of the polish cabbage soup and i took a hard-boiled egg and i cut it up and garnished it and uh, it's just a great great dish if you're cold and you need some comfort food this is a great dish and i know what you're thinking cabbage and eggs but it's worth it trust me enjoy <laughs>